The camera angle or camera height that you choose has a surprising effect on how the viewer will feel and perceive the video you're making. There's a few different camera angles to choose from, let's look at some of the more common ones. At the minute I'm looking straight down the lens at you with the camera positioned at eye level height. This is an eye level or neutral angle shot. If I look over at the camera screen, the centre guide line that I've turned on is running straight across my eye line here. This angle feels very natural and it's like we're connecting in real life. It feels more intimate somehow and less like you're watching me and more like we're having a conversation together. We could go and zoom in the lens, currently at 24, let's go all the way up to 50 and this still feels pretty natural. So this eye level shot is a great choice for YouTube videos for example because it's a more personal interaction with the YouTube audience. Just as a quick tip, remember to line up the eye level with the centre of the lens and not the bottom or the top or the centre of the camera body. Another quick tip is if you're filming yourself on your own to save yourself having to go backwards and forwards to the camera just to move the camera up and down. Instead you can grab a stand and maybe put a crossbar across and then just put it across here at eye level, leave the stand in the frame and then go behind the camera and then move the camera up or down until the centre guideline matches up with that crossbar. Alright let's take a look at the next shot. I'm going to use that technique using this C-stand arm here. So that's about shoulder level height. I can just leave that in the frame now and come back to the camera on the stand here and then just drop this down until that centre grid line is running across that C-stand arm. So that should give us a shoulder level shot. So this is an example of a shoulder level shot. I haven't tilted the camera up at all yet, it's still vertically and horizontally level. If I were to zoom in and change the focal length, let's go to 50 millimeters and I'm going to stand in the same spot. You can see my head's a bit out of frame now, so depending on the focal length you're using, you might have to tilt the camera up a bit. Let's see how that looks now, I'll just stand on the same spot and by using a shoulder level shot you can kind of minimise the amount of headspace above a person's head here. So the shoulder level shot is an example of a very slight low angle shot and it can feel a little bit more movie like or a little bit more cinematic than a straight flat eye line level shot. If we move the camera down a bit closer to the floor and then tilt it up we get this low angle shot. This is a more pronounced below eye level shot. A low angle shot makes the person look bigger, stronger, more important or more authoritative. As long as you don't overdo it, this kind of low angle shot can be a good choice for educational style content as it can make you appear a bit more knowledgeable and feel like an authority on the subject. The closer the camera gets to the floor and the more you tilt it up, the more pronounced this effect will look. Let's take a look next at the high angle shot, but first if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome, I'm Jason Roberts. This channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited video. If that's something that be useful to you please subscribe I'd really appreciate it. Raising your camera up and tilting it down like this creates a high angle shot or above eye level shot. High angle shots can make the person feel less powerful, smaller or weaker. The higher you go with the camera and the more you tilt it down the more you'll notice this effect. Notice how you're feeling about me subconsciously now you're probably feeling like I seem a bit weaker and less like I know what I'm talking about. That's the effect this high angle can give you. There's a lot more to camera angles when it comes to making great looking videos check out this playlist next that I put together for you with all of my videos on these kind of topics and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.